New sporting honours for Aintree as 24 high-powered cars roar away in the 270-mile British Grand Prix held for the first time in the north of England. The three-mile track was soon testing the best cars of Germany, France, Italy and Britain. By a triumph of planning, the course also measures up to the new safety standards evolved since the Le Mans tragedy. Here's a pit stop for number 28, Ken Wharton, driving a Van Wall Special, one of Britain's hopes in the Grand Prix field. Right from the start, the Mercedes-Benz went out in front. Number 10, Juan Fangio, the world champion, leading our own Sterling Moss. Then, in the third lap, came a great moment for the record crowd, as Moss, number 12, forged past his teammate. And except for a brief period, Sterling Moss stayed just ahead of the world champion to win by one-fifth of a second at an average speed of 86.47 miles per hour. Moss sportingly gave the credit to Fangio, who had, he said, allowed him to realise his ambition of being the first home driver to win the British Grand Prix. Then, to round off a thrilling day, Mrs. Topham saluted Aintree's first Grand Prix champion.